Hello, this is Nick. Uh, today I'm going to go through and show you how to fix sync issues on Microsoft OneDrive, uh, also Microsoft OneDrive for business, really the same software. Um, so if you've used OneDrive, and I've used it for a little while now, you might have noticed some syncing issues where certain files aren't fully getting synced, or it's creating duplicates, or it's crashing, things of that nature. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just you want to do a fresh install of um, OneDrive. So what I recommend doing is going to Add and Remove Programs and uh, fully uninstalling uh, Microsoft OneDrive. It's probably going to be, and I've already uninstalled it on the system, just speed things up. But it's going to be under Microsoft uh, OneDrive. It's also sometimes part of the Microsoft uh, package. So when you install the full Office suite, I would just recommend uninstalling that fully. Uh, you can get OneDrive it's bundled into the package of 365, Microsoft 365, so you're going to maybe need to uninstall that. So once that's uninstalled, we're going to want to go and find where we have SharePoint on the system, and this is probably under your user folder. So we're going to find that. You can just browser to users, find the username. Um, now here we have a SharePoint, I've already renamed this, but I just named it to SharePoint space old. This is kind of a backup in case things don't get downloaded properly. Um, but we don't want it to be the same name as before. So add something like old or SharePoint backup, something, just rename this to something different. Okay, so once we do that, we want to make sure that <coughs> we don't have any Microsoft products left running. Going to open Task Manager which uh, you can either hit Alt, Control, Delete, and hit Task Manager, Control, Shift, Escape. Now we're going to look for processes called Groove, GR Groove, which we're not running, and also MS O Sync. And I do not see that running. We can verify that also under Details here should show you and we're running Windows 8 so that might look a little bit different than Windows 7 but it should be pretty similar and you, and you can be looking for those files MS O Sync EXE and Groove which we're not running since we fully uninstall the package everything seems to fully uninstall alright next we're going to want to do is hit open run which you can just here type in run or Windows key R and that's also going to open it up and we're going to put in app data percentage before and percentage after. I'm going to give you the directions also in the show notes. Uh, I'll have a step-by-step -step directions on how to do this. Um, so now we're going to locate actually we're in roaming. We're going to back up a bit. Go back to app data. We're going to go to local. We're going to Microsoft. We're going to go to office. And I'm just putting O and on, on the keyboard to quickly jump there when I'm searching and it's going to be we're going to want to delete everything in here so this is just some cached files some things that could be causing some corruptions so I'm going to just delete this whole folder so see there's a lot of data in there so that's got wiped out um, I'm gonna also going to go and delete this 15 here or actually just the cache offline file cache both these six gigs worth of data there uh, that will allow me when I do a fresh install of the office everything will be installed fresh there will be no uh, files left over maybe from a bad download or corruptions uh, when we reinstall this it'll be nice and fresh so after you've deleted that um, we're going to basically restart the workstation and then we're going to I'm going to do a fresh uh, reinstall of um, the full Microsoft Office 365 package and just reset up um, the syncs how you had them before and let that download fresh everything should fully sync and there should be no more syncing errors or crashing of OneDrive um, also a side note even if you have Windows 64-bit I do recommend <coughs> that you install Office 32-bit just because there's so many plugins that are 32-bit, um, for example, antivirus plugins, uh, things of that nature, that will cause crashes. 
and sometimes they uh, also attach themselves to OneDrive so I would recommend installing the 32-bit version of Office that maybe will solve some of your issues um, and uh, yeah so I hope you like my video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and if you have time give me a thumbs up alright thanks